नमस्कार मेरा नाम अभिषेक कुमार आज हम आए हैं एम्स कल्याणी कॉन्फ्रेंस अटेंड करने कॉन्फ्रेंस का टॉपिक है स्लीप मेडिसिन I want to say that sleep is not only a neural process, and I will explain about that at the end of my lecture. This is a discovery of REM sleep in 1953. So before that, whatever findings are for only non-REM sleep, can new insights on the functions of sleep and improve the capacity to treat sleep disorders. Here I give a list of techniques which have been utilized from modern class classic to modern techniques. At level A and B, if you cut a cut the brain at the level of B and record EEG, it shows sign of a sleeping brain. So now I examine the brain of these patients. He was shooting to the right, and another strange thing. What was this? That was around 30th, 30th day. You see, now the person gets into the sleep for a longer duration. Suddenly, the you know get into sleep for 36 hours, but without having a perception that you have slept for long. So now instead of 24 hours, now you are you know cycle is running into uh, 48 hours. And that time, <coughs> and some days it would be even 12 hours. So 12 hours you have slept, and 36 hours you are awake. Back to the mutant. Any questions or comments? Yeah, there's one part. For you to wake up refreshed. And let's say we only take that one parameter, forget about blood pressure and other things that we can use as a surrogate marker of good quality sleep. So if you have a good quality sleep, it is likely, it is likely that your response to your in uh, the uh, vaccination will be optimal. Now, can we quantitate how optimal it is going to be uh, compared to the next person or compared to what they uh, figured out in the lab? Uh, many of these vaccine, vaccines are 70%, 50%, 40% effective. That's the efficacy rate of the vaccines. So it is very difficult, it's like a moving target to really pinpoint. But uh, just to facilitate your um, project, which seems like a very, very important project in terms of the current status, we are going vaccine after vaccine. Now, from here, moving on to circadian rhythm sleep wake disorder. So we just had a long discussion on the circadian rhythm. So one important point to note is we have a 24 hour night day cycle. Now that itself is not technically 24 hours, but for the sake of arranging 365 days in a year, we have a 24 hour sleep uh, day divided. And depending on, if you are in Kolkata, you know the sun sets early because we are the eastern part of the country and we follow IST. Now our body's diurnal clock need not align with this 24 hour pattern. And it never aligns actually. But for our social adjustment, we make it align with this 24 hour clock. In some individuals, this never aligns at all. Probably it's a longer cycle, diurnal cycle than the 24 or it's a very shorter cycle based on which we can end up, the subject may end up having a delayed uh, moving on to circadian rhythm sleep wake disorder. So we just had a long discussion on the circadian rhythm. So one important point to note is we have a 24 hour night day cycle. That almost 80% of drug resistant hypertension almost 70 percent of uh, cardiac failure patient with almost 70 percent of atrial fibrillation patient or diabetes almost in the tune of 70 percent and stroke and COPD in the tune of around 50 percent are associated with obstructive sleep apnea. So we, uh, this is a list of several medical disorders starting from diabetes uh, to cardiac uh, uh, migraine infarction to depression. Uh, to uh, chronic respiratory diseases and also chronic uh, kidney diseases, particularly anxious renal disease, where it is seen almost up to 50% uh, of uh, people are have associated sleep apnea. So, so your patient first thing need to present with symptoms. So the symptoms like excessive daytime sleepiness, 
awakening, short of breath, witnessed apneas or insomnia, any of these symptoms a patient have, you can suspect central sleep apnea. And look at the symptoms, they are overlapping with obstructive sleep apnea. That is what Dr. Srivastava said, just taking a sleep history and for scheduling me after tea rather than after lunch, especially if the topics such as hypersomnia, uh, it's a lot more comfortable. So we lunch break. इसके बाद participation का इसके बाद participation का certificate मिलेगा. छुट्टी हमारी. और आज रात में है. क्या चीज़ है भाई? आज रात में किस चीज़ का है वो? Polymorphic sleep workshop. हाँ हाँ. Sleep test होगा ना आज कुछ होगा तो. Sleep test होगा आज रात में. काफी सारे. आपके जाएंगे इस तरह में. काफी सारे जो इक्विपमेंट हैं उनके उनके भी आज डेमोस्ट्रेशन हुई है ये सब Smallest is the basic local device. Very small device for CPAP device. Smallest device for CPAP. This is the patient. Okay. Oxygen deficit. Right. 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 बाइपैक हो बाइलेजल ओके तो उसमें क्या डिफरेंस होती है इसमें आपका फोर्टीन्यूअस टेस्ट इस्टेप क्या इसमें इन्हीं एक्सिल दोनों में आपका काम करता है